okay, I am done. I've officially spent way too much time doing my hair and makeup and this is the best it's gonna get. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new, welcome. My name is Kathleen and I am so happy that you stopped by today. I do apologize if you're struggling to hear me or my raspy voice is highly annoying, but I don't know why. I don't know if it's allergies this time of year or what is going on, but the last three days I literally have been losing my voice and it's just carrying over into today and it is, it's driving me literally insane. But I've been really meaning to put forth a video for you guys. I know my posting schedule has really been kind of all over the place and I do apologize for that. Life has just been so busy lately and there's been a few things that came up unexpectedly and yeah, unfortunately YouTube kind of had to be put on the back burner, but with Christmas right around the corner, I promise you guys I've got some Christmas decorate with me videos to come and all kinds of that kind of um, decor inspiration and just festive style videos. So stay tuned for those. In fact, today I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I'm going to do a vlog style day in the life video. I need to stop at Kirkland's and pick up some garland that I purchased. Um, Jenna Pierce here on YouTube and if you're not following her channel you I highly recommend that you follow her she is so talented I love her decor style but I saw where she had posted online that Kirkland's was selling their um, it's called Real Touch Garland that they had a sale on it and so I definitely took advantage of that sale and purchased three garlands and I believe three picks. My voice right now is highly, highly annoying. I do apologize for it. <clears throat> it's really getting on, on my nerves. But anyway, so I need to go pick those up because I ordered those for store pickup and I'll bring you guys along with me and I'm curious to see what they have in terms of Christmas decor. So I'll try to film some of what they have. And also I got a new order in from H&M. I ordered a bunch of, well not a bunch, but Quite a few things for um, the fall and winter months and I'm really excited to check them out so I'll do a little bit of a mini try on haul it's actually the first time I've shopped at H&M so I'm really excited to see you know what their clothes are like how they fit the quality that kind of thing so I'll share that with you guys and yeah, just kind of a chill day in the life. I just finished putting on my makeup and fixed my hair. I'm definitely going for a more kind of flat hair look today. I just could not get it to do anything. I did use my heated round brush from Hot Tools. I love this heated um, blow dryer brush. I'm not sure the exact name for it, but it really helps to kind of bring a little more life to my hair on my you know, when my hair is not cooperating. There's a couple products that I've been using and absolutely loving that I have to mention to you guys. The first one is this under eye brightening corrector. I've been using this now for about two weeks and I love it. This is my new favorite product. It, um, it does such a great job of minimizing your dark circles and it's such a creamy formula. I love this. It's so lightweight. It's by the brand Smashbox and Becca. This is what the packaging looks like. It's this cute little glass jar. And I have the color Fair slash Light. And this color is perfect for me. But they have darker colors too. Um, but again, it's such a lightweight formula. And sometimes I even use this in place of concealer. I'll just put this on underneath my foundation or sometimes I'll even use this without, you know, if I'm going for a no makeup look, I'll just use some of this. I love it. I highly recommend it. And then the other product that I have to mention um, is the Revital Lash for your eyelashes, obviously. It's to help them to grow. It makes them longer and thicker. And I've been using this now for three months. I honestly can't believe that this product actually works. I, again, I've been using it for three months. And before, I used to have the shortest, stubbiest, stick straight lashes. And since using this, they're just longer and fuller and I honestly, I can't believe Here's it. Here's my outfit today. I'm definitely going for a casual, cozy look. The temperatures here have dropped. It's in the 40s today. It literally was snowing this morning, believe it or not. I'm not ready for snow by any means, but I thought 
this sweater would be perfect for a day like today. The comfiest sweater, it's definitely oversized as you can tell. And this is actually a size small, believe it or not. But it's by Free People. I spent way more on it than I wanted to. The leggings are from Amazon. I love these leggings. I wear them all the time. I wear them to work out in or I wear them just, you know, with a outfit like this one. They have a crisp you know kind of like a crisscross waistline they are so flattering and so comfortable i'll link these down below and then as far as boots these are part of my recent h&m purchases i could not wait to wear these they're definitely more of an edgy look but i love it and they're just a chelsea boot. chelsea boots they are you know a little bit higher on the calf um but i think these are perfect for rainy weather days or you know slushy snowy days all of the items that I recently purchased from H&M. This isn't everything. I still have one more shipment to come. I was hoping it would be here today so I could share it with you guys, but I have three sweaters that I ordered that I'm really excited to get. So I'm just gonna try on all of these and just show you guys what they look like and what I think about them. I've got two pairs of pants, a leisure type top, a jacket, this purse here that I'm loving, and then those shoes that I showed you earlier. So yeah, I'm just gonna try each of these on and let's see how they fit. Okay, so right away, I absolutely love the fit of these pants. They are the ankle length pants and yeah, I'm really impressed. I love the color of these. They had other colors, um, but I just love the style of these pants. They're so extremely flattering. I like the pleating on the front. I like that on the very back of it, it has elastic. So it is, you know, has a little bit of give, even though the waistband is very fitted, as you can tell. Um, but I'm wearing a size two, and I definitely would not have gone any smaller than this. Maybe even a size four might have fit well. But yeah, these pants are a definite keeper, and I styled them with these booties. Here's the purse that I also purchased. I think this is such a classic, classy look. I love this. I love this purse and I think it goes really well um, for just, you know, you can wear this dressed up or even with a casual outfit. This is what it looks like with flats. Still such a lovely look. I, I'm in love with these pants, guys. So I just have these Steve Madden slides on, um, but... I don't know, I just love this kind of classic look. I've definitely been trying to create more of a capsule wardrobe recently, so this is gonna be a great addition. Here's the second pair of pants. I'm, again, I'm in love. I love the style of these pants. They're definitely a looser, uh, you know, more free-flowing style. I think these are called their wide leg dress pants, but I love these. I love the pleating on the front. 
These definitely are looser in the waist than the other pants I just tried on. These are also a size 2. Um, but one thing I've noticed with H&M is that their items sell out fast. So if you see something that you like, you definitely need to purchase it when you see it. These are definitely lengthier, so I'll probably have to get these hemmed because obviously I wouldn't want them dragging on the floor like this if I'm wearing um, flats. But I just wanted to show you, you know, the length. Uh, I'm five foot three, so that way you can have an idea of how they would fit you. Definitely too long to wear flats for me. So I'll definitely hem them. Um, but let me see what they look like with heels. Here is the length with heels. I'm wearing about two and a half inch heels. And I feel like the length is kind of perfect with heels. I really wouldn't want to go much shorter. So I'll have to be careful when I do hem them to wear with flats not to go too short. Because I don't want them to be too short when I am wearing heels. But I love these pants. They're so comfortable. You could even wear them for a more casual look. Wear them with a pair of, you know, sneakers. That'd be a cute look. But yeah, a definite keeper. And I love how long they make your legs look. I feel like I look so tall with these pants on. Absolutely love the fit of this sweatshirt. I like the style of it. It's like the perfect length on me. Being that I'm only five foot three, I like that it is a little bit cropped. Just looks a little bit more fitted. Um, and I like the quarter zip on it. And it has like a thicker or taller collar, if you can tell. I think it's such a cute style. However, the quality, it's really not that great, guys. It's kind of a thinner sweatshirt material, and I'm not sure this is going to hold up too well in the wash. I don't know. We'll see. It was only 25 bucks. I know you get what you pay for. Final item, and this could possibly be my favorite of everything I purchased, and it's this biker jacket. I love this. This has exceeded my expectations. It was more than I wanted to spend on this type of jacket just because I'm not sure, you know, about how how good the quality is and how it's going to hold up, but this is going to be so warm on those cold, wintry days. It has like this fur lining that goes not the whole way through the coat, but like, you know, mostly on the sides. And it does have pockets. It's got zippers on the pockets. It's got this kind of buckle detail here at the bottom, but I don't think it's too much. I just like the fit of it. Now, I am wearing an extra small. I would say size up to a small if you want more room for your chunky sweaters because I am wearing obviously my oversized sweater underneath this and it does feel a little bit snug, but I personally didn't want to go too big because being that I am a little bit on the petite side, um, I didn't want to look super boxy um, in it. I didn't want to look like I'm swimming, but I love this look. It's definitely more of an edgier look, but I'm here for it. And I paired it obviously with these boots that are from H&M.
Okay, so I got my order and I cannot wait to see what this is gonna look like on my fireplace mantle. So let's go home, let's go check it out. And I have to say Kirkland's did not disappoint. They have so much to choose from and a variety of different decor styles for Christmas. And there were a couple of things that I most likely am going to buy, but I wanna wait until they go on sale or until Kirkland's offers a coupon. And the first one is the, the string of bell garland. I'm not sure if you noticed that, but I definitely have my eye on that. I currently have a bell garland, but it's not nearly as nice of quality as the one that Kirkland's has. So I'll definitely keep my eye on that. And there were a couple throw blankets and pillows that I had my eye on, but I'm impressed. I think they have a good selection and the cashier that was checking me out, she said that they have more things to come. So I'll definitely be back here. I love it. It does look a little messy right now. I have to kind of situate it, but I just roughly put it up there since I'm not keeping it up there because I'm not ready to decorate for Christmas just yet. But let me show you up close what it looks like. It is so lifelike. I can't get over how lifelike it looks and it feels so soft to the touch. And I love this. This is perfect for my mantle now as you saw i put two pieces up here these are six feet in length so if you wanted it to be more substantial or thicker you might want to stack a couple more pieces up there together but i'm happy with just having two if i wanted to do some on either side of the fireplace kind of like a draping effect i probably would put two more but I'm not sure how that would look I think just having on the fireplace mantle is perfect. These would also be perfect to put on top of, you know, a shelf, a bookcase, that kind of thing. But yeah, these are a really good value, I feel, because if you were to buy these at, from, there's a company called A Floral that has identical um, garland, but you'll spend way more than what I spent on these. I got these on sale for 35 and they're normally priced 39. So keep your eyes open for when these go on sale because I'm sure they'll go on sale again, but I will link them down below in the description box so you guys can keep checking. And then I also picked up three picks and I thought these would be perfect to put either in a vase or just to have them in a bowl and I could put like ornaments on top of them, that kind of thing. But they're quite substantial. I want to say the fern part is probably almost, I don't know, maybe a foot and a half in length. And then the, of course it's got the longer stem, but yes, I'm really happy with this purchase. And these were, I think these were $9.99 a piece. I recently purchased the Magnolia table cookbook that pretty much everyone but me has. And I have to say, I'm loving this cookbook. I've already made at least five recipes from this book. Um, and today I thought for dinner, I would try the meatloaf recipe. Let me find it. It sounded really good and it sounded pretty easy to make. So I'm going to give it a try. Here it is. So the ingredients call for a chopped onion, ground beef, crackers, saltine crackers crushed, um, cheddar cheese, an egg, tomato sauce, a Worcestershire, kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, and ketchup. And that's it. So this sounds super easy. It looks like it needs to bake for about an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on dinner. And I think for a side dish, I might make or bake some potatoes, do some roasted potatoes. But yeah, this I wanted to give this a try. The other recipe that I've tried, or recipes, I've tried the pot pie. I also tried the mashed potatoes. And I did this recently, I did the, or tried the Aunt Opal's banana pudding. And oh my goodness, so delicious. So 
so here is the final product it actually tastes really good and even better it was so easy to make super easy in my opinion um, and I just decided to serve it with some salad I didn't have potatoes like I had planned so I couldn't do the roasted potatoes but I have crescent rolls in the oven right now so once those are done we'll be able to have the crescent rolls with it but yeah pretty good meatloaf for as simple as this recipe is anyways i'm going to end the video here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know if you guys would like to see more vlog style videos like this one from me i'd be happy to do that but stay tuned because i will definitely have more decorate with me videos to come especially given that christmas is right around the corner i I literally can't wait. I love Christmas. It's one of my favorite holidays. But again, thank you so much for being here. It means so much to me. I just feel so honored that you guys take time out of your day to watch my videos. Um, it really means a lot. So I hope that you enjoyed this one and stay tuned for more videos to come. Subscribe if you're new and make sure you hit that bell notification because given that my posting schedule is a little random at the moment, um, if you hit, hit that bell notification, it'll notify you when I do post a new video. So make sure you do that, but have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next one. Take care.